Hello everyone, welcome to Next Day Yavadi Private Limited. My name is Salam Mishra and today in this video we are going to discuss about this three phase Sensuras Model Lab Kit. It's all about it, 46590. So in this video we are going to discuss about its components, its working and its application. So starting with the component parts of this three phase Sensuras Model Lab Kit. So you can see there are three light indications for the three-phase supply. This is the main switch. After that, you can see the ports for different phases like R phase, Y phase, and B phase. These are for the input three-phase supply, and this is for the neutral port. From here, we can obtain the output for the three-phase supply: R phase, or Y phase, or B phase, and the neutral port. Next you can see this is the variable DC supply input having 0 to 200 volt. You can give the variable DC supply to these ports. After that there is an auxiliary supply for switching on and off. Here these are the ammeters provided. This is the ammeter AC ammeter having the reading range of 0 to 10 ampere. After that this is AC voltmeter having the range of 0 to 500 volt, volt these ports are short the V1 and the V2 next we are having DC emitter range between 0 to 2 ampere for the positive and the negative next here you can see the DC voltmeter having the value value range of 0 to 300 volts coming on to the next this is the wattmeter, the first wattmeter and the second wattmeter. These are the digital wattmeters having different ranges. This is the this works on to 50 volt at 6 ampere. Similarly, this also works for at 250 volt at 6 ampere, through which we can check the power in uh, power input and power output. Next, you can attach a load for seeing the actual results. Of this kit, we can attach any kind of bulb or LED to this. Next, this is the port provided for the fixed DC supply. You can provide input the 200 and 200 volt. After that, this is for the field SF and SF through which we can connect it to the motor for generating of the output. This is the connection for the rotors. We have to connect R phase, Y phase, and B phase with the motor. After that, this is for the armature coil. We can control by connection through this armature ports. And at last, this is for the field. We connect it with the second part of the motor for the rotation of the motor. Now, let's move on for the next components. So moving on to this, so you can see this is central structural alternator and this is DC shunt motor on which there are four provided at the upper side for R phase, Y phase, B phase and neutral and for the F and FF connections to an inductive coil. This is the central machine alternator through which this is uh, the motor part for the joint. Here you can see the rotation of this motor. This is the uh, main DC shunt motor in which the ports have been provided at the upper side for the meter and for the resistance. So this is the another part of our kit. Now let's start with its connection and working. So now let's start the connection of these both three phase synchronous motor lab kit and this. Central or machine alternator. So, first of all, connect this output, the R phase output with A1. After that, connect this A2 with this port. After that, connect this Y phase with this V2. Check the connections. Then connect this B phase 
in this volt meter for the output then connect the variable DC negative port with this SFM port cross check the connections now connect this DC volt meter in the base with this armature and then connect the V4 port with this armature last port then connect this load to this port and this another port of the load this is the connection for the armature with the load now connect this fixed DC supply with this wheel this load and this supply with this FM wheel load Now after this, we have to connect the A3 of this port. Let's connect A3 with this variable DC port and A4 to this SF field port. Let's check out the connections. And afterwards, connect this L port of what meter? The RP is Always check that the connection should be proper. Now connect the given port of AC voltmeter with this M port of wattmeter for the input. Now here this V1 remove it from M. M and give this V1 to the Y phase of this rotor V1 to the Y phase not on the M and also give this L with this B phase check out the circuit now after this connect the R phase of the rotor with this synchronous receipt machine R phase Y phase of the router with the Y phase B phase of the router with the B phase check the connection R phase with R phase Y phase with Y phase and B phase with the B phase after this, connect the armature A port with the DC shunt machine A1 port and then connect double A port of armature with the A2 port of DC shunt machine. Check the connections. Now connect this SF port this F port for this speed with this DC and F1 port also connect the FF port of this speed with the F2 port of DC and Check out the connections. Now, initially, we just have to sort the F in the FF port of this synchronous machine alternator. Just sort it. In the initial case, we have to sort it. And after that, we connect these two ports with this field SF port and SFF port. Now, after all the connections, we have to just give the DC supply to this variable DC supply on the three phase synchronous motor and after that we have to just connect it 
with the all uh, connections of this kit the motor this is the variac for the voltage uh, changing in the voltage for giving the variable voltage so you just have to connect to the three phase supply after this you have to give uh, the dc supply from uh, a dc supply kit so after that you can check for the connections in this you have to take the safety precautions just switch off the three phase supply and just take take the multimeter and you have to check the dc supply in this just take the multimeter and check for the dc supply just you can check you can see it is giving 23 230 volts it means the single phase supply now after connecting to the three phase supply it will give the readings for the three phase supply it means it is working correctly after that you have to take this multimeter and check for the value and this you can see it is showing 0.16 ampere okay now let's check on switching on its supply whether it is working properly or not so now you have to just connect this field field wires to the dc supply to get the results just connect it and now just switch on the dc supply uh, three phase supply so after switching on the three phase supply you can see it is showing a uh, voltmeter reading of 2 and uh, dc meter so now let's switch on the power supply so you can see the motor is running and the dc voltmeter is showing its value 87 Okay, you can change its polarity. After that, you can see the voltmeter is giving the reading of three phase. That is between 400 to 440, 420. Also, the AC meter is giving its value of this. So after this, we can check that the motor is running. Also, we can check it through by applying a load. So let's apply a load. So we are using this bulb as a load. So firstly, just close this and then connect the load to the socket. Be very cautious because we are dealing with the three phase supply. Now just switch on it, and you can see the bulb or the load. Being drawn up. You can check change the voltage for this variac. The voltage will change into a three phase synchronous. The power, the input power, and the power which we have achieved as an output will be shown in this kit. So this is how this three phase synchronous motor works. So this is the complete explanation and demonstration from my side about this kit. If you have any query related to this kit, you can visit the SR Global website. All information related to this kit is given in the manual itself. For the information, like our other products, we have mentioned the links given in the description. Thank you all for this video. If you like this video, just like, share, and subscribe to our channel.